This is section 6.4. So before we define a logarithm, see if you can follow the pattern and then try to fill in the missing pieces of a to f. So log base 3 of 9 equals 2. Log base 4 of 16 is 2. Log base 9 of 3 equals 1 half. And log base 3 of 27 equals 3. So what's actually going on here? Well, this is the same as saying log base 3 of 9 equals 2 is the same as saying that 3 squared equals 9. Log base 4 of 16 equals 2 is the same as saying that 4 squared is 16. Log base 9 of 3 equals 1 half is the same as saying that 9 to the 1 half equals 3. And log base 3 of 27 equals 3 is the same thing as saying that 3 cubed equals 27. So in mathematics, every function has its inverse, right? Or every operation even. Multiplication and division undo each other. Subtraction undoes addition. Squaring undoes square rooting. So the logarithm is sort of the opposite function of the exponential. So, what power do we have to raise 2 to to get 8? Well, 2 cubed equals 8, so log base 2 of 8 equals 3. 4 raised to what power gives us 16? Well, that's 4 squared. Okay, what do we square to get 64? Well, that's an 8, so this makes a log base 8 of 64 is 2. In part D, it's 4. Log base 4 of 64 is 3 because 4 cubed is 64. Log base 2 of 16 equals 4 because 2 to the 4th is 16. And log base 4 of 2 equals 1 half because 4 to the 1 half is 2. So logarithms really are just exponentials, as I've already explained. So the logarithm function with base a, where a is greater than 0 and not equal to 1, is denoted by y equals log base a of x and is defined this way. y equals log base a of x if and only if. a to the y equals x. So if and only if means two things. It means that both ways have to be true. It means that the y equals log a of x if a to the y equals x. And it also means that a to the y equals x if y equals log base a of x. So, the domain of the logarithmic function is that x has to be greater than 0. And as I already said, the logarithmic function is the inverse of the exponential function. So, to find the inverse of a function, we switch the x and the y variables in the equation and then solve for y. So moving on to the next page here. We're going to practice by converting between exponentials and logs for a minute. So 
5 to the 8 equals t means that log base 5 of t has to equal 8. x to the negative 2 equals 12 means that the log base x of 12 has to equal negative 2. e to the x is natural log of 10 has to equal x. Now, you notice I used a different notation here. ln is the same thing as saying log base e. It's just we use a shorthand and call it the natural log. Okay, how about going backwards from logarithms to exponentials? So if y equals log base 2 of 21, that means 2 to the y power equals 21. Log base z of 12 equals 6 means z to the 6th equals 12. In part c, we have 2 to the a equals 10. Okay, now it wants us to evaluate the following. So how do we do that? Well, if log base 3 of 81, let's say that equals x. That means 3 to the x equals 81. 81 is 3 to the fourth, so x equals 4. Okay, in part b, we have log, sorry, we do not have log, oh, let me erase that and try again, we're replacing the logs with exponents, right? So we have 2 to the x equals 1 eighth. 1 eighth is 2 to the negative 3, so x is negative 3. Part C, we have 5 to the x equals 1. Uh-oh. How are we going to get a 1 to be a base 5? Well, this is where we have to use that thing we know that anything to the zero power is one. So that means five to the x equals five to the zero, so x equals zero. Okay, on D we have two to the x equals 16. 16 is two to the fourth, so x equals four. Part E, we have 3 to the x equals 9. 9 is 3 squared, so x equals 2. Okay, 4 to the x equals 2. 4 is 2 squared, so that's 2x equals 2 to the first, so 2x equals 1, or x equals 1 half. Okay, 1 third to the x equals 27. So 1 third is 3 to the negative 1 to the x, and 27 is 3 cubed. So we have negative x equals 3, or x equals negative 3. 
Okay, square root of 5 to the x equals 25. Remember, the square root is the same thing as a 1 half power, so that's the same thing as 5 to the 1 half x. 25 is 5 squared, so 1 half x equals 2, or x equals 4. So when we need to evaluate a logarithm, we just change it into exponential form and then solve. And that will be the end of this part. We'll pick up in part two.